Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make automatic stamping machine using Arduino at home. This video is sponsored by All PCB, where you can place your first PCB order for just 0.99 US dollars. They support multiple payment and shipping methods, so you can choose anyone according to your budget. They also offer an educational and engineering PCB sponsorship program for students and teachers. You can read out all their terms and conditions and eligibility criteria from here. They will offer a 100 US dollar coupon for PCBs and shipment charges. So after reading all these terms and conditions and eligibility criteria, if you think that you are eligible for this sponsorship, you can apply for it from here. They also offer PCB assembly services which are starting from 29.99 US dollars. At the time of registration, you will get a 5 US dollar coupon in your account. After uploading your Gerber files and by changing some simple parameters of your PCB, you can order your PCBs from here. After a few days, I received our PCBs from all PCB. Here is the box. Let me open it and show you our new printed circuit boards. As you can see, the build quality of these circuit boards is really good. This is the circuit diagram of our project. Here are all the components that are required to complete our control board circuit. This is a two terminal block. This is double A2 power transistor. Here is a 5 volt regulator and these are 12 volt regulators. This is a tactile switch. Here are 100 microfarad capacitors, an Arduino Nano and these three are stepper motor drivers. Here are 4 heat sinks for these voltage regulators and these are the female heater pins for these stepper motor drivers and Arduino Nano. These are some resistors. This is power supply jack and here are 2 LEDs. Now I'm going to solder all these components to our new PCB. Our control board circuit is now complete. Now I am going to collect all the materials that are required to make our stamping machine. So guys these are all the materials that we will use to construct our stamping machine. Here is a simple stamp and a stamping pad. 
these are some wooden spacers i extract these two stepper motor assemblies from old dvd drive here is an infrared sensor this is a 12 volt solenoid actuator i made this product feeding assembly using cardboard here are some dummy products we will use them for stamping This is a NEMA 17 stepper motor. This is our control board. This is timing belt and a pulley. I extract this bearing assembly from old hard drive. And here are some other wooden pieces. This is the base we will construct our stamping machine on it. I made this wire frame to hold the stamp here like this. This is stamping bed, it will go here like this. I put two spacers here for height adjustment. Now this thing will go here like this. Now we will need to place this infrared sensor here to detect the objects. This mechanism will feed the products one by one, like this. Now we need to fix this mechanism here to push these products to the front side after stamping.
सो गैज आवर स्टैम्पिंग मशीन इज़ ऑलमोस्ट कम्प्लीट नाओ नाओ लेट मी इंस्टॉल दिस कंट्रोल बोर्ड सर्किट टू आवर मशीन Here I made a change. First I decided to drive this actuator directly through this transistor using these points. But later I realized that this power transistor has no enough power to drive this solenoid actuator. So then I decided to use a separate relay and a separate power supply. And now these two terminals are only used to trigger the relay. This is the Arduino code of our project. The code is very simple. You can find more detail about it in video description. So guys our stamping machine is complete now and ready to use. This actuator is connected with this 12 volt battery and the control circuit is connected with this bench power supply. This stamping pad will be placed here. But first I am going to do a test run without placing this. These are our dummy products. It will automatically stop after ending the products. As you can see everything is working properly so now it's time to do a real test. So guys that's it for today's video. All necessary information about this project you can find in the video description. I hope you will like it. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.